все останет на земле. Ок, он включился. Там где пупчик. Да, он говорит, да, да, да. Вы понимаете, как? Значит, так мы будем инструкции делать. Нормально, that's it. Ну, и какое у тебя сейчас чувство? Это не нужно обниматься, не нужно. Какое у тебя сейчас чувство? Lightness, but not more. Not more. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. We are here at the Complete Center with Ella Arbit, who is... Uh... Ella, who are you? Well, it's a good question. Well, let's ask Buddha. Uh, hello, Buddha. Uh, do we know each other? Well, and he's answering yes to me via my profit channel in which reality. So uh, maybe this is how we begin. Is there a reality where Buddha is? It's a sincere question. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the question that uh, um, probably resembles many questions out there in today's world. We are we, we we ought to know. So do we know? Well, I talked to him, so I know he exists. Unless, no, that's out of question because I was studied here in America where it was, uh, there's a scientist, I found this guy at the quantum uh, medicine in a symposium a couple of years ago. Uh, his specialty is uh, stru structured around people who are gifted, who are a, um, kind of an access to the realm of thought that needs to become a real thought on earth. So as a conduit, I know how I exceptionally work. Uh, so the way uh, I began, I heard the words of love. When I was struggling, my husband was passing on. So it was a number of years ago. Um, I'm a clinician, so as a clinician, I was following the roots of, um, I would say, Buddha's words evil, he says evil, because today's medicine is not very proper, I would say. But fortunately, I had a good heart, and I resembled a human being. Uh, so love found the way to me. By the way, if you have no heart, or don't use the heart, you're not proper for them to access you. Oh, we hope everybody has hearts. Well, the statistics, unfortunately, poor people, and in, in his mind, poor means not governing their hearts. So the purpose for us living on the earth is to find everything we need to be able to find happiness. Now, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. What happened? What happened? How did it all start? Uh, from where your husband passed on and then what happened? I heard the words of God who asked me to let go of my husband because his soul started began to descend and I was still hanging on. So I was altering his pathway. But that was the choice I've made as a human being. Not knowing anything about passing on the rite of passage. For some cultures, it's called rite of passage. On Hebrew, today is Sabbath. I've done my rite of passage. We finished it with uh, even my husband. He was able to connect with me via conduit time from above many times over. But via, via my heart, because it was a love-love relationship, we were able to connect via clear consciousness, which is love, and Buddha was there. So Buddha, uh, Buddha was an access to me, to my thought process, even prior to that. I remember we vacationed, and he was already sick, and I liked to walk and watch the sunset and talk. To me, I thought I was talking to myself. But the feeling of aura around me, was sensational. The words were so like mine, and I had no idea it was Buddha. So he was watching me from above because of my vibration before I came to Earth. I came from clear consciousness. So those people who are trying to 
understand watching this program, many of you are from that consciousness, not knowing what you're doing on earth. So please forgive me, it's not easy. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's getting, um, today is a difficult day. You know, today, the day you know, all over the world, not only in the United States, you know, mental, we're not prepared for what the shift should be. Our mental capacity is tremendous. But reaching that capacity is via heart. Now, from that point, Buddha and I structured my life force. That's fantastic. Just came from Miami, where I was asked to be for six weeks. And God was watching me and Buddha walk the beach, work day in and day out towards transcendency. How, do you, how can you help people to open their hearts? You have to work with them. It's truly a pattern of love that you need to follow. Buddha worked that path as well. As well. Um, Buddha had somebody else, but we're trained above because Buddha and I came approximately the same way. We were prepared above. But I essentially did know that I already came ascended. Did I resemble everybody's struggle pattern? Absolutely. Because we kind of collectively struggled together. But when consciousness came to me, they, they asked me to start early. I started shifting five years ahead of time. And I'm so grateful that was available to me because now I'm completely comprehensive the way they're saying to me right now. I, I'm not clued in because what I was uh, explaining prior that Buddha was asking me internally, kind of a call for action, go for a walk and let's research in your mind, in your heart, in your presence, because it was a presence that he was speaking with. That's why I felt that aura and sensational feeling about, uh, about myself. And it was a moment of truth that I was having with Buddha. And he was teaching me about death and dying it was not about what's proper, but I didn't initiate those conversations. I just felt that call, let's go for a walk. And I was just there. So he was a gift, a silent gift to me, but I was gifted coming into earth. But many people aren't very gifted, who are shut down. So access to consciousness needs to begin at some point. Even if you're curious, it can help, but ascension is necessary. So ascension came to me spontaneously. Um, I'm not going to explain how because it's a lot easier to ascend. Um, I've ascended multitude of people already being on the radio on a regular basis for three years here in Chicago. So each program, me being on the radio, resonated with hearts of people, and then the saints as I was driving from the program, were uh, teaching me about the number of people that trusted what they were listening to and went through spontaneous ascension. Now, how does ascension attest for itself? You can feel it. You can feel the ascension. You lift up. And it's a state of wow and awe that you feel and you pause. Now, you feel it in your liver because God holds you by your intestines. But it resonates in the liver. It's like a little hook that they give you while you are in that state. People while they're driving can get into that state of ascension. How many people listen to the radio because we practice asc ascension and they help us in a silent mode, we don't even know. But how many people get back to their senses thinking, oh my God, I need, I need to exit the freeway so I don't lose my time. Our minds are structured to ascend. It's like you wake up, it's like, oh, where was I? And you're thinking, where was I? 
15 seconds passed and you were ascended. Now, why do we ascend? To resemble yourself. The best part of us is up there. So there is a separation. I'm not a hero explaining all this. But I think Buddha gave me the chance to feel every second of this pathway, the passage, the choice. Many live a choice. Many are so gifted, they are choice. They didn't need to come to earth. They have no karma, no lessons, no problem whatsoever, but they're choice people. This coming up generation already have, uh, half of them are choices. So let's think about who we are as a structure. We're light. And this is where Buddha begins with us. So he, his light gives me the structure, sometimes the meaning, because I already accepted everything that was ahead of me. So don't look for the meaning, guys. Try to find the ascension. The glow will follow, I promise you. He's speaking to me right now through my right ear and says, is this the time we can offer a little bit of frequency? Because we can do it. Uh, so anybody who is on solid ground, if you can find a recliner, for example, or a mat to lie down, and he says, I'm not a figment of your imagination. I can come to each and every bedroom, doorway, and we can begin transmitting his energy. Uh, Father God, love tells me not to try to do that while you're driving. So anybody who is listening, we're 21st century. If anybody is listening and deciding to do it, no, please don't. There will be other opportunities to access Buddha's frequency via me. I'm a channel. I am a vehicle. Uh, and I'm willing. I'm willing to support because it's an enormous capacity that Buddha, uh, Buddha's light gives us. Um, it's, so I'm pausing and he's asking me to pause. So I, I understand above is seeing that some there is some commotion. So... Uh, my guardian angel is telling me there is a little bit of commotion, so maybe I need just to give an opportunity to a question while people are trying to uh, not dislocate their shoulders, doing what they need to do. <laughs> so I will allow for some space for those who need to find a good space, uh, relax, uh, find the point of relaxation. We can entertain some questions for those who are driving and not being able to relax and get ready for Buddha. If there are questions, are if, there, if questions? there are questions, you can ask in chat, just write down your question and uh, we'll be able to ask uh, a question. Anything you like to ask, any questions are welcome. Right? Absolutely. So did you- I'm on hook with Buddha, so I'm hooked. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here until I'm done. <laughs> so you're receiving his energy. You kind of get his energy through you. Uh, it's uh, I'll, I'll show you the pattern. It's going through my um, it, as deep as bone marrow. So it's in my finger. It's going all the way. It's the pathway for ascended person. I'm ascended. So it's in my energy pattern. but very deep down to my bone marrow. It has to resonate right because I'm spontaneous with him, and I'm keen with love, not just light. It's a little harder for me to, to catch the light because I am so flowing with love. Uh, and, but it's, and, and I have to be in Father's state of command. So that's why his presence, Buddha's energy is just grabbing me. But uh, for gravity, he's not enough. Buddha is not enough for me. Uh, why? And Father says, why don't you explain why? Um, as I passed on all the tests, I was switched to Nano. Nano is the next generation of human beings. Uh, nano, and don't ridicule me, please. Nano is a type of the cell which God's presence there is. So I'm human, I'm being, I'm all of the above, but I'm a healthy human being. So health and wisdom can be together, can be separate. 
So for those who choose what what's up with all this project and what God is doing with us, people on earth, there are a lot of questions going back and forth between ascension team above and us, earthbound people. Um, I'm soul bound. So soul needs a creator. And nano, so my nano cells, I can ask my liver how it's doing. And which I used to do. Can you ask my liver how is it doing? I, uh, not via my, my own body. For that, I will ask your binome, which will give me information. Okay. okay. So that's the part of you that's a higher than higher self. And it's a high level of comprehension. But I, I already practice it for the last year and a half. As a clinician, I have to do it. But that's my highest purpose, to get rid of psychology. So it, it's a replacement for psychology. It's not my ego speaking on that behalf. So to find out about you, binome, your own binome, you're like a healthy you up there will give me information. Because some people are asking, how do you do long distance? Because I can do it on the phone. Well, forgive me, it's not a long distance, it's my, my thought process going out. So just for clarity, in case somebody wants to know how the wisdom gets into us. It's actual light. It's a transmission. But um, on, on behalf of Buddha, I can tell that he was a tremendous help for me, which uh, with my schedule, and I'm not a primitive person, I had to study a lot. Um, and love is not the only commotion within me. Uh, through Buddha, I know what my progression needs to be. I'm 40 light and, and 50 love, and a little bit of free will. So why do we need light? Well, are we gonna produce red blood cells, for example? How will I know to shut down my, 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 my heart valves? There's no lingo, no professional lingo. Um, so we need light. And my communication with uh, light is so quick. My eye takes the light. I can know within, let's use proper grammar, one hundredth of the second. And I'm not adventurous. That was their gift to, to them so I can bring more information to Earth. But that's after matrix and genome. So all that gadget type of information comes to me because I already evolved as a being to the next level after that futuristic level of matrix and genome. But all that takes presence so quickly. Once you're honest in your heart uh, and your life force is cleared, and that's why Buddha was in my light to assist but what he does, he clears all the negligence, Father says. I was about to say, use the word that Buddha used, negative. And Father, our creator, overrided that word. I heard him uh, on my left, and he says, negligence. So it's not negative, it's negligent. Uh, but energetically, I'm sure Buddha meant what he said, negative. Uh, he does it with me when I need to change structures, when I work with above. Uh, it's a state of resolute that we call. Uh, so Father invites Buddha. Buddha works with my life force. One hundredth of the second before I even know, I'm all cleared. And cleared to my, to my toes. But that's pretty much of having nano. It's all in sync. So no, no, we're made no. to be perfect. We're made to be perfect by, by the Creator. We're made to be perfect. So, but regard what we have, lots of disease processes. They call it protocols. Uh, negative type of thinking. Shootings. Hater. Negligence. That's what negligence is. We're negligent towards what we were taught about. To come here for enlightenment, enjoyment, and happiness. Hello, where is that? So there is a lot of work, but there is so much hope and so much presence that there is. So I, I Buddha, he's speaking through me a little bit through my my heart and my throat chakra. 
um, is ready. So I think, okay, so he's ready to transmit energy sequence, frequency. So a lot of different consciousnesses use their own words. So for what reason? Um, clear consciousness uses the word sequence. So please, so those who resonate with this word out there, know that you're off clear consciousness. And you don't need much education, you just need presence. So Father is helping those who are of clear consciousness will just know immediately they will be flushed with love right now as a confirmation of who you are. Please attain yourself at that level and know that Buddha is your first partner. Please do so. Those who tremble a little bit, you are of creative consciousness. Buddha will be with you half of the time. So there will be a period of time when you will be active within his resonance energy, and it will be more of a subconscious clue. All right, so the benefit, Buddha is asking me to, to, to focus on that. The benefit will be less tears, uh, less propaganda in your life. You will know to resent some information in your life. So you will be leaping, not walking which will be still a presence of enlightenment in your path, but it will be a little bit slower, or the way Father says, you will be held back. Again, structure. They know who needs to go after what. Uh, why? Because guardian angels are surrendering us on this path. Imagine how difficult it is, and we need cooperation on Earth, they're saying right now. So keep that in mind. It's not about ego or who is best. It's not a championship. Every, every person needs to go back to, and I'm not using the words because Father says it's not going to be real anyway. At least find the happy place at some point in your life. Not everybody will go back to the happiest place on earth is heaven. All right? So why? Lots of turmoil is ahead. But what we're offering is the path to stabilization of your spirit, which is very important. It's humanly impossible to figure out everything on your path the way it is right now. So you need to find the center of yourself, not somebody's opinion, via transcendency, and it's just clearing. So on your breath, Find the center of your heart. Resemble the place where it's best for you to be. Stop every thought. On that command, allow Buddha to walk in. You can wake up immediately and see it with your own eyes and feel the enlightenment within. He'll greet some people. Some are floaters, so <coughs> floated. But try to float the energy or a space within, not the thoughts. Amen. Feel devotion if you feel it. Try to seclude everything that you need to seclude. Try to find less irony within you. If navel chakra is engaged in the process right now, relax it. Try to examine your body. If you tingle in your toes, excrete as much of energy that you don't want anymore. 
It's the consciousness that's trying to get rid of the energy. Release it. Acknowledge the pro protocol, process. For some, it's a protocol. It's almost beyond you. For some, you're working on your own. It's a process. Your body's healthy. It's able. Keep on doing what you're doing. As you ascend, because I'm hearing that some ascending, as you ascend, look around. What's in front of you is the place you came from. Be well, glow in the space that was your home away from home on earth. Love it. It doesn't want you yet. But that's why we feel a little bit of poverty in our hearts because, please forgive me, we sometimes need that space for a little bit more goodness in your heart. Your soul is fine, but the heart wants a little bit of privacy with them. That's what Buddha is about, giving you what you want, a little bit of the happy pill, if you will, a little bit of a float, we all need to be rescued from time to time, but it's yours. Give it a hug. Hold on to it with your heart. Breathe into it. It's your space where you find a little bit more command, and heart needs to be commandable, which means I want what I want and that's why I'm here. I need to gain that responsibility again so I can calm down my inner processes that bug me. So the little bug is within you for a very good reason. For a day or two, it's fine. It's just a gentle reminder. 30 days, you're delinquent. So let's clear that pattern Allow for more light to come in so you can find love. As easy as that is. Keep on working. People are doing well, who they say. Uh, some are very centered right now. Just keep on breathing. Not too frequent. Just trust your body to gain the territory. Somebody, uh, somebody is very sophisticated out there, Michael is telling me. Archangel Michael has said, okay, uh, somebody is saying, I know Buddha. So somebody found himself. Okay, love that. Somebody found himself. Congratulations. Mother Mary is telling me there are a lot of smiles on the faces. People are engaged in a protocol. So love is teaching them to find light. Hallelujah. I hear some souls saying I'm able, which is a, a very known protocol in the sainthood. So if you heard I'm able within you, you're a saint, you're a rare person on earth, know your soul first. That's the hope for the, okay. I was cut out by creator. Those who need to know just need to know from their own source. I am not to say it from Buddha. All right. Those who found their souls, glow. Glow is important to penetrate your nerves. You'll feel more of the creator within you. Please do so. Continue the process. Anyone who heard in their own voice the words I am, just reconnected with the pride within themselves. Please congratulate yourself and keep on working. 
were transitioning. Anyone who found hope, God bless you and your soul. You are fantastic. We'll finish in four seconds with love that comes from Mother Mary. Her presence is, is coming in. Buddha is shutting me down in his regard. I'm being picked up by Mother Mary. And change the subject from within, and now you need to learn the switch and how it works. The light to love needs to be engaged by the God from within. Please accompany your own love from within to allow the switch. It's in your own entitlement. Some people need training, Father says. Some people need training on how to switch. All right. Wherever you are, you've done a lot more than you knew before. Uh, prayer will help for those who don't know how to switch from light to love. Ask for it. Just be honest and in your own sense of humor, if you wish. Buddha is standing by with those. He'll pass you on to the light beings like angelic beings, saints, depending on who you are, you will be attested, attained by love, and connected with a love source from within. Please don't resent it. It's the best practice to switch from light to love. We all resonate with love, and that's the whole purpose of being on earth not to lose love in your life. Please do that. If you feel gratitude, please express us, okay, express. Our creator is standing by, he's hopeful. He wants to hear those words, not me. I'm just a conduit. I belong to him. And I hope all of you will find the way it is to be loved by him. It's only healthy. Transition will continue for another five seconds. Time is a virtue. You're obligated to know what's going on, on which terms, on earth, on his command, he is the creator, Buddha and I are serving. Please allow for all of us to disconnect. We will not judge you if you don't know how. Just find the best place within you to say it was grateful presence of anyone who connected to me. Don't find us. Don't look for us. We shall be back. Stay within your own belly button. Try to reconnect all that you need to reconnect. Your God from within will do for those who don't know how to do it. Or are not meant to know. That's why all of us need to know there is a presence of God within each human being. Do a mental check. Make sure you feel that you're found. Buddha says nobody's lost. All right. All are back. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Ella. I feel speechless and just want to lay down and sleep. Well, it's healthy. Uh, you're feeling sequence, what I'm picking up from where you were. Uh, it's a sequence. Sequence is like a pause. Buddha didn't have enough time on earth to explain sequence. Sequence is pausing yourself. But it's, um, 
it doesn't give you an opportunity to go in the wrong direction. So your soul is always within you. You know who you are, and you will never leave uh, your your presence, your worth, your connect, uh, your being for whatever is not good for you. So we all need breaks, and it's a good thing to take a break and uh, go somewhere and feel the love. Break for affirmations, uh, statements towards what's needed, um, or you're like a robot. You're programmed for destiny, and destiny is something that we need to try to break. So more on that, we probably shall return to the conversations about how complex our light within us and how difficult it is sometimes. But honesty breaks all the boundaries. So for, uh, for the next topics, please give us your questions. Uh, we will be back. We'll try to attain um, all the answers for you from above. Uh, let's resemble human beings. God bless all and be happy. Thank you very much. Thank you for transmitting the love from Buddha for us. And we'll see you soon again. I'm happy. Thank you. Take care. We have to reveal the world, I mean word, just to uh, Oh, we are supposed to, oh, so, so sorry. So the word that Buddha gave us, just, yeah, it was bravo. Have no idea, I'm happy just to show that word. I have no idea why that word, but it came like a lightning to me. So... We'll just be pleased to show the word. It's okay, it's okay. It can be seen from. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> now he says it was his hope to be heard. So he just gave me the explanation. It was his hope to be heard. Silly, but it's Buddha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh,